In the heart of every city, on every street corner, and in every corner of the globe, there exists a passion that knows no bounds. It's a passion that transcends language, culture, and nationality. It's the passion for the beautiful game, football. But how did this phenomenon come to be? To understand the true essence of football, we must journey back through the annals of time to ancient civilizations where the seeds of this beautiful game were first sown. From the chaotic mob football matches of medieval Europe to the refined pitches of modern stadiums, football has undergone a remarkable evolution, shaped by the hands of countless players, visionaries, and enthusiasts. It was in the bustling streets of 19th century England that the modern game of football began to take shape. With the establishment of the Football Association in 1863, a new era dawned, one defined by standardized rules, structured competitions, and boundless possibilities. Join us now as we embark on a journey through the history of football, from its humble origins to its status as the world's most beloved sport. Through triumph and tragedy, victory and defeat, we'll uncover the stories and legends that have shaped football into the global phenomenon it is today. Welcome to the evolution of football. Act 1. Origins of Football reenactment of ancient ball games in ancient civilizations, such as the Chinese game of Kuju or the Mesoamerican game of Ulamalistli. The origins of football can be traced back to ancient civilizations where ball games were prevalent. In China, the game of Kuju, which involved kicking a ball through a goal, was played as early as the Han Dynasty. Kuju was not just a recreational activity, but also had ceremonial and military significance, often played during festivals and used as a training exercise for soldiers. Similarly, in Mesoamerica, the game of Ulamalistli, played by civilizations such as the Maya and Aztecs, involved players using their hips to propel a rubber ball through stone hoops. Ulamalistli was deeply ingrained in religious rituals and was believed to have cosmic significance, with the outcome of matches sometimes determining matters of state or even human sacrifice. As civilization progressed into the Middle Ages, various forms of mob football became popular in Europe. These games, often played during festivals or holidays, involved entire communities and could span entire towns or villages. With few, if any, rules, mob football was characterized by its chaotic and often violent nature, with players and spectators alike risking injury in pursuit of victory. Mob football matches were typically played between rival factions within a town or between neighboring villages, with goals often situated miles apart. The objective was simple get the ball to the opposing team's designated area by any means necessary. Players used brute force, cunning tactics, and sheer determination to advance the ball, with matches sometimes lasting for days and resulting in widespread damage to property. The violence and disorder associated with mob football eventually led authorities to intervene with King Edward II of England famously banning the game in 1314 due to its disruptive nature. Despite such prohibitions, however, mob football persisted in various forms throughout Europe, providing a rough and unrefined precursor to the organized sport we know today. Act 2. The Birth of Modern Football It was in 19th century England that the seeds of modern football were sown. Public schools played a pivotal role in shaping the game, with each institution developing its own set of rules and variations. These early forms of football were often characterized by a lack of uniformity, with different schools playing by different standards. One of the most influential schools in the development of football was rugby school, where a young student named William Webb Ellis was said to have picked up the ball and run with it during a game of football in 1823 thus creating the game of rugby football. 
This moment is often cited as a key turning point in the divergence of rugby and association football. In 1863, representatives from several football clubs gathered at the Freemasons Tavern in London to address the growing need for standardized rules in football. The result of this historic meeting was the formation of the Football Association and the publication of the Laws of the Game, which laid the foundation for association football or soccer, as it would later be known in some parts of the world. On December 19, 1863, history was made as the first official football match under FA rules took place between Barnes and Richmond. The game, played at Limes Field in Barnes, marked the beginning of a new era for football, with standardized rules and regulations governing gameplay. In the years that followed, football clubs and competitions began to proliferate across England. The FA Cup, first held in 1871, quickly became the premier knockout tournament in English football, capturing the imagination of fans and players alike. The Cup provided smaller clubs with the opportunity to compete against larger, more established teams, leading to the rise of several underdog stories and memorable moments. As football continued to grow in popularity, the need for a more structured league system became apparent. In 1888, the English Football League was founded, becoming the world's first national football league. Twelve clubs from the North and Midlands of England participated in the inaugural season. Act 3. Spread of Football Worldwide With the expansion of the British Empire during the 19th and early 20th centuries, football spread to every corner of the globe. British soldiers and settlers introduced the game to their colonies, where it took root and began to flourish. Football provided a sense of camaraderie and distraction for troops stationed far from home, while also serving as a means of cultural exchange between colonizers and indigenous populations. Despite the growing popularity of football on an international scale, the sport lacked a centralized governing body to oversee its development and regulation. In response to this need, representatives from several national football associations convened in 1904 to form the Fédération Internationale de Football Association, or FIFA, headquartered in Zurich, Switzerland. FIFA was tasked with organizing international competitions, establishing standard rules, and promoting the game worldwide. The crowning achievement of FIFA came in 1930 with the inaugural FIFA World Cup held in Uruguay. The tournament brought together teams from across the globe to compete for the title of world champion. In a thrilling final match, Uruguay emerged victorious, defeating Argentina 4-2 in front of a crowd of over 90,000 spectators at the Estadio Centenario in Montevideo. The success of the World Cup solidified football's status as a truly global sport and laid the foundation for future tournaments to come. Even during times of conflict, football served as a unifying force, bringing together enemies on the battlefield for moments of camaraderie and solidarity. Perhaps the most famous example of this occurred during World War I, when British and German troops laid down their arms to play a game of football in no man's land during the Christmas Truce of 1914. Despite the horrors of war, football provided a brief respite from the violence and a reminder of our shared humanity. In the aftermath of World War II, football played a crucial role in rebuilding communities and fostering reconciliation between former adversaries. International matches and tournaments became platforms for diplomacy and cultural exchange, helping to mend old wounds and forge new friendships. The sport transcended political boundaries and ideological differences, bringing people together in pursuit of a common goal. As football continued to spread throughout the 20th century, it became a symbol of hope and empowerment for developing nations and marginalized communities. Grassroots initiatives and youth programs provided opportunities for children from all backgrounds to participate in the sport and pursue their dreams. Football became a tool for social change, 
promoting equality, inclusion, and unity among diverse populations. From the streets of Rio de Janeiro to the villages of Africa, football has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of people everywhere. Its universal appeal transcends language, culture, and geography, bringing joy and inspiration to millions around the globe. As we celebrate the beautiful game and all it represents, let us remember the journey that brought us here and the countless individuals who have contributed to its rich tapestry. Act 4. Football in the Modern Era The latter half of the 20th century saw football continue to evolve, with the emergence of legendary players and memorable moments that captured the world's imagination. From the mesmerizing skills of Pele, to the controversial Hand of God goal by Maradona, and the shocking headbutt by Zinedine Zidane in the 2006 World Cup Final, football continued to captivate audiences with its drama and spectacle. As football's popularity soared, so too did its commercial appeal. The sport became big business, with multi-million dollar television deals, lucrative sponsorships, and astronomical player salaries. Modern stadiums, equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and amenities, became the epicenters of football culture, attracting millions of fans from around the world. Football's influence extended beyond the pitch, permeating every aspect of popular culture. From chart-topping anthems to celebrity endorsements, football became intertwined with music, fashion, and film, shaping trends and shaping the zeitgeist. The sport's biggest stars transcended their athletic prowess to become global icons admired and adored by fans of all ages. The modern era of football has also seen advancements in technology revolutionize the way the game is played and officiated. Video Assistant Referee VAR, technology introduced in recent years aims to reduce human error and ensure fair play by allowing referees to review contentious decisions with the help of video replays. Similarly, goal line technology has been implemented to determine whether the ball has crossed the goal line, providing more accurate and reliable officiating in critical moments. Beyond the realm of sport, football has emerged as a powerful platform for social activism and advocacy. Players, clubs, and organizations have used their influence to address pressing social issues such as racism, homophobia, and inequality, promoting tolerance, inclusion, and diversity both on and off the field. Football has become a force for positive change, inspiring millions to stand up for what they believe in and make a difference in their communities. As we look to the future, one thing is certain, Football's legacy will endure for generations to come. Its ability to unite people from all walks of life, to inspire passion and camaraderie, is a testament to the power of sport to transcend boundaries and bring about positive change in the world. As fans, players, and enthusiasts, we celebrate the beautiful game and all it represents, knowing that its influence will continue to shape our lives and our world for years to come. From its humble beginnings to its current status as a global phenomenon, the evolution of football is a testament to the enduring power of the beautiful game. As we reflect on the journey that brought us here, let us remember the countless individuals who have contributed to its rich history and celebrate the spirit of unity and camaraderie that football embodies. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey through the world of football. From all of us here, we bid you farewell, and may the spirit of football continue to inspire and unite us all.